Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Sitter Skater. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be going over everything for officer ranks in season one. Each of the 10 officer rank emblems, every single one of the season one challenges, as well as go over some XP changes that I noticed later on into the leveling up cycle that I think people should be aware of. But let's start off with the emblems. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone wants to see. I'll throw them all on the screen right now. The emblem system works just like it did in season zero so i'm not going to go over how you actually unlock that if you want to know i'll link a uh, video up in the card right now so you can go check that out after this the season one emblems just like they were in season zero they're all showcased as you progress through them at the very bottom of the challenge screen they're all a circular kind of type of emblem and honestly they're all kind of Eh, I think I like the season zero design a little bit more than the season one, at least for the base emblems. For completing all 100 challenges, your season one level 10 emblem is this one you're seeing on the screen right now, which I think is bugged at the moment. It is not animated and it shows as just a common emblem instead of being a orange legendary emblem. And I believe this is a bug that will be patched at a later date, maybe when season one ends. That that's when we're supposed to be getting the animated emblem as a reward to show after the season or maybe it's just bugged and it's supposed to be shown right now but it's not either way on the activision blog itself it says that earning 10 ribbons gives you a special season emblem with each additional 10 ribbons evolving that emblem collecting all 100 ribbons unlocks an animated emblem which serves as proof of getting the ultimate achievement for that season. They said it's all supposed to be animated. It's going to be fixed at some point, I'm sure. So uh, that's what's up with that. You also, once you hit max rank in season one, you get the M91 Warhead Legendary Weapon Blueprint, which again, I did a video on separately, so link in the card. You can check it out after this video if you want to learn more about that. Now, as for the challenges, I will be showcasing every single one on the screen right now, probably in fast forward motion. So if you're looking for specific ones, you probably want to pause to see them all. But uh, again, 100 challenges compared to last, season season zero the launch season of the game i think the season one challenges were much more easier i really only had trouble doing one challenge compared to last season where there were like i don't know maybe five that were kind of a pain in the butt to do or were really hard to do the only one i really had a problem with uh, this season was getting or calling in a juggernaut which i believe was like the third to last challenge and I actually got one on shipment pretty much right when I unlocked the challenge and it never counted. And I've been trying to like force myself to get it ever since. It was just having a hard time to get it. Now, pro tip for you guys, if you want a juggernaut and you're not good at getting kill streaks or 15 kill streaks, you can use the care package or the emergency airdrop or even better. Yeah, this is how I actually did it. Just play Drop Zone, which is the brand new playlist that's live the week of Christmas. Hopefully it'll stick around if you're getting to this video or getting to that challenge at a later day. But in Drop Zone, you just play the objective, camp out all the care packages, and eventually you'll get a juggernaut like I did. It just automatically equips it, and that counts as the challenge. So that was a really easy way for me to complete that. I kind of beat myself in the head after I realized I could just do that. So I can make this video in a timely manner. I think the only other challenging challenges that you might have to go out of your way for or try hard for in season one is the resistance challenge which is similar to one in season zero but i think it's a little bit easier we have to get five kills or better against attackers guarding one objective uh, you can play hard quarters god i always say hard quarters you can play headquarters or hard point i actually played it on hard point and i got it on the map shoot house without even actually having to try for it so that was actually pretty easy for me to get and then the only other one i think would be a challenge is getting two quad feed medals which my pro tip would be just play shipment. So that brings us to the last thing I want to cover in this video, which is the XP for season one. We knew at the beginning of the season, they doubled the amount of XP from 10,000 per rank to 20,000 per rank, which made it a little bit harder to level up. Honestly, wasn't that big of a change. It was way too easy to level up in season zero. Now, I'm not sure at what rank this happens at, but the XP increased dramatically for like the last five or 10 ranks, I wanna say so. So much that you, you need like 75,000 XP per rank to level up. I haven't found any 
history of this unlike the modern warfare subreddit or just doing quick twitter searches or anything like that so i'm not sure if people are aware about this but i noticed i was trying to grind up level during the double xp event that was a couple weeks ago so i can get the weapon blueprint for hitting max rank i want to make a video on it and i noticed i just like my progress got halted all of a sudden which was like the last five to ten ranks that this happened and i decided to start keeping track of my xp i needed per level and sure enough the i have the last five levels here for level 150 you needed 69,800 xp for level 151 you needed 70,800 xp for 152 you needed 71,800 xp and it increased a thousand xp per rank all the way up to rank 155 where you needed 74,800 xp to completely level up that last rank i think it was even more to get the max rank 156 after that so i'm not again i'm not sure what rank this happened at i don't know if it started early on like at rank 100 or whatnot but i think it's like somewhere in the last 10 ranks so i want to make sure people are aware of that because it may be a problem if you're kind of uh timing yourself doing like week to week how much xp you need i don't want you to be doing something like that and then hit that last week and then all of a sudden need gargantuan amount of xp and you're gonna miss hitting max rank on season one so please plan accordingly if you fit into that scenario but that will wrap up my uh, little season one wrap up. I guess we'll be chilling until season two starts because really not much else to talk about other than some of the battle pass stuff, which I'll be covering over the next couple of weeks on this channel. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about season one, emblems, challenges, anything, tips, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. But with that said, guys, thanks for watching. As always, my name is Cinder Skater. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it and hit the subscribe button and even hit that bell notification so you get notified when all my videos go live. Check the links down below in the description for 10% off control freaks as well as cool in the apparel you also find my amazon and social link down there if you want to shop that link and help support my channel that way but again thanks for watching guys my name is Skater. i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out